this video is about how to convert a control controller like this to a Ethernet smooth stepper so that you can use it with Mach 4. <clears throat> so I recently brought, bought a 6040 uh, CNC machine and it comes with this board right here which well, there's the number on it right there okay but apparently that board can only be used with Mach 3 and I own a copy of Mach 4 so I wanted to use uh, Mach 4 to run this machine and also wanted it to be uh, Ethernet instead of USB so I just wanted to show you how to convert that because I couldn't find any information out there on how to do it so this is a, a smooth stepper Ethernet smooth stepper uh, and I'll put a link in the description on where you can buy that you buy the board which is this part right here this part right here and then this is the breakout board uh, that you buy to go with it and if you're not worried about the spindle all you have to do is attach the, these are the pins from each axis so this is your your X Y Z and A and you can trace them back to these ports back here in the back and if you look on the other side on the outside it tells you what they are um, and so you'll have one pin for uh, direction one pin for pulse and then one for the yeah you have for each axis I'm sorry you have for each axis you have uh, one pin for direction and one pin for pulse and then there's this one wire that goes to the five volts off of the uh, the panel and then over here all that's connected is this is my e-stop right here and it depends on you have to which pin you put these in depends on uh, which pin you assign in Mach 4 and the people who make this board have a tutorial that walks you through how to set up uh, Mach 4 on your system and how to port it um, to this and I'm not going to cover that at all those instructions are good I won't answer any questions about that you'll have to refer back to that this is just about how to wire it because I couldn't find any information on wiring okay so if you do that then you can come to your panel and you can operate you can switch this to manual and you can operate your VFD from here um, you just take okay so kind of getting ahead of myself but these wires right here they go to your VFD here and if you're going to operate your VFD manually you can just take these wires out you don't need them these are only communicate to the computer so you could use this board wire your pins all into here your, your four axes you got to put five volts over here on on the panel you'll need a five volt uh, power supply to run this I don't think anywhere in here there's five volts available um, so you'll need that in addition to the board uh, but you can do that it'll run your axes um, and that's all the wiring you need in order to run the CNC machine now if you want to run the spindle off of here you're gonna have to buy another board which I'll link it in the description also but it's a let me see if I can find it on here there it is get out of the light it's a C41S board and the way I have it wired up there's different ways to do it uh, in the description it showed that there were some terminals coming off here but the terminals aren't on here you would have to solder it in now to wire this board uh, it took me forever to figure it out and my son who's an engineer actually had to come with an oscilloscope and figure out how to hook this thing up uh, but I couldn't get good information out of uh, I got it from uh, CNC for PC and I couldn't get good information from them on how to hook it up to this particular VFD um, but anyway let me tell you how uh, you can easily hook this thing up now these ports down here are the same as what come out of these Ethernet ports right here um, this is just made so that you can easily plug and unplug it you know in this application I really wouldn't want to do that I just didn't want to have to solder onto here so I use this Ethernet plug so the inputs to here are this so you can see right here if you take a cord and you hold it like this see your clips on the bottom 
pin one's over here and pin eight is over here, just like it says right there. So pin one, the first one, so you're gonna take it and you're gonna strip it out like that at the end. And so get you a voltmeter and check from this first pin, come down here and see which wire that is. And you can look in here through that clear and you can see what color it is and then transfer it down here and it helps you find it. But I would check it with a voltmeter and make sure you've got the right wire before you do that. Now the only things that we've hooked up are ground and PWM and five volts. You just need those three inputs. And the five volts, all it's doing is powering the board. Okay, and the, the ground and the five volts are powering the board and then the PMW. Um, so anyway, you need to run those three over here to your board. That's what's coming in through this clip. Now I've got them attached up here. I've got, this is my five volts. And then this one goes to pin 14, which um, that's your PWM. You have to go into your uh, software and assign a pin for your PWM to come out. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. And then this other one is on uh, ground. So those th that's the three that are hooked up. Okay, so that's what's coming into this board. So apparently the reason you need this board is that uh, Mach 4 puts out a PWM symbol, uh, signal, which I'm not exactly sure what that is, but my son understood it. And then this board takes that signal and converts it into an output that's a varied voltage, which tells the VFW over here, um, depending on the voltage, it knows how fast to spin the spindle. Okay, so your input's here, and the and it's also this is also your power to the board and so your output is right here now you have four wires coming out there's four wires that are attached to this vfd you do not need the forward and you do not need the, the uh 10 volts so you don't need on this case you don't need the yellow and you don't need the white now this vfd board let me tell you what it is just in case you need to know I don't know that I've ever seen the number on it. And I don't know. I don't even know if that's the number of it. Well, okay, I'm just going to give you a shot of it, and you'll just have to look and see if you think that's your board. But if your inputs are this, I would think it... If those are the inputs that you had the choice of, I would think it would work with any board, but I don't know that for sure. Okay, so coming out over here is ground... So you take your black wire from here and attach it to this pin over here that says ground. And then this wire, it's actually the red one. For some reason, they put that black case on it so that it looks like from here down, it looks black. But that's the red wire. And it goes to this pin right here says, that pin right there says zero to 10 volts, right there, okay? So you attach those two right there and that's got all your wiring done. All right, so here it is all put together. And I need to show you one more thing because you're still gonna have trouble getting it to work. Okay, so here's Mach 4. And you would think you could come over here and enable this and hit this button right here and tell, the, tell it to start, but it isn't gonna start. If you look over here at the VFD, it's blinking, it's not showing any kind of rotation and your spindle's not turning. Okay, here's what you got to do. All right, so we'll turn, we'll cycle that off. So when you turn this on, what it's doing is it is telling it to start clockwise at whatever the RPM was it was told last time. Okay, well it hasn't been told an RPM. If you had run a program before and it had used an RPM, it would, I think it would go back and use that one, but so what we've got to do is come over here and click this MDI tab, this MIDI tab, and type in M3 space S for spindle and then whatever RPM you want it to be. I'm going to put 24,000 because that's max for <laughs> that's max for my spindle. Okay. Then I come over here and when I click start, it's going to start my spindle. So I hit the cycle start. MDI, so that's it telling it. Now, 
this lit up you see right there okay now let's go over here and look at the VFD now the VFD is blinking at 2400 but we still have a problem look over here we've got no rotation okay so we've still got no rotation out of our spindle okay so what you have to do is the first time you use this you gotta come over here and just hit run alright and my spindles cranking up and you can see it's spinning up right there you can hear it going up okay now after that after that first time you don't have to do that anymore but for some reason even though this is set to PC you gotta come over here and tell it now I can come over here and I can click right here and it'll stop it it's completely stopped I can click it again and you can see it's spinning up you can see the spindle go starting up okay you can also come over here and you can lower the speed you hear it start going down by increments like that and then we'll stop it okay so that's how you can convert this model to a ESS smooth stepper so that you can use it to uh, you can control it with Mach 4 and get the spindle going and everything. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.